This is a Fox News special presentation. Breaking news. President Donald Trump has tested positive for stage one of the human immunodeficiency virus, more commonly known as HIV-1, this afternoon. This diagnosis comes just over two weeks after the president has recovered from the coronavirus. With the election less than a week away, Americans are growing more and more concerned over the president's health and ability to fulfill a second term if elected. I will now turn to Ryan in the field for more updates. Ryan? Thanks, Daria. We received reports earlier today that the president has started taking a new drug called lapinavir. This is designed to help the president to stop any symptoms of the virus from spreading throughout his body and keep it at dormant and small undetectable levels. We go now live to our interview with President Trump earlier to hear what he had to say about the disease. Wrong, I'm not sick, okay? No one is healthier than I am. So what the White House official statement is now is that the president is experiencing early flu-like symptoms, consistent with the type of symptoms you would expect to see in the early stages of the virus. Things such as fever, chills, and a rash are common that the president is being taken care of right now. And I think I speak for everyone to say that we hope for a quick recovery from him so that he can get back out on the campaign trail. Reporting live from the White House lawn, back to you, Daria. Thank you for the update, Ryan. President Trump seems to be in very good spirits. It is important to note that HIV-1 affects 1.2 million Americans, where one in seven of those affected are not even aware that they have the virus. In 2018 alone, 36,400 new HIV infections were reported by the CDC, with nearly 15,800 cases resulting in death. HIV disproportionately infects people from minority communities, including LGBTQ plus men, African Americans, and Hispanics and Latinos. HIV is very detrimental ec economically as well. HIV that progresses into AIDS causes loss of income with expenses shifting to increased healthcare spending and funeral costs. I now have the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, Dr. Anthony Fauci, on the phone to further explain how President Trump's lapinavir treatment works. Thank you for being with us this evening, Dr. Fauci. Yes, yes. Thank you, Daria. You know, it's important for everyone to know about diseases like these because it gives you a better understanding of how diseases work in the first place. Luckily for all of you, I created a short presentation on what's going on behind the scenes with the Trump HIV business. Here, I want the American people to see a simple diagram on how viruses do their job. First, virus genetic information enters the human cell. Uh, it uses the host cell to replicate, and then it generates many more virus offspring. And I want the American people to focus on the red circle, because this is the part of the virus life cycle that the president's medicine is looking to disrupt. The key here is the pair of scissors that snips the long strand of virus proteins into the mature proteins. The scissors are a thing called a protease enzyme. So how exactly does the snipping occur? Well, the protease recognizes a sequence of the building blocks of proteins called amino acid. Here is a string of amino acids, and for the mature viral protein to get correctly snipped into existence, the protease selectively cuts between specific beads of the protein which is specifically tyrosine and phenylalanine or proline and is denoted in the diagram here where the red dotted line is. So what does this whole snipping process look like? Well, here we have the HIV protease blob, which is our enzyme, and we have the viral protein strand. The enzyme scoots along the protein, finding the correct pattern of amino acid beads and then chops it up into its mature viral form. So what can the president or anyone with HIV do to stop this virus in its tracks? A mask and social distancing won't help us in this case. Well, one can take a drug called lapinavir, an HIV protease inhibitor, and this drug stops the protease from being able to snip the protein strands into the virus life cycle. Here is the slide we were just looking at before, but assuming Trump took his meds, you can see that it blocks the HIV protease's ability to chop up the viral strand. This ultimately wrecks the virus's ability to reproduce. 
So how does this drug bind exactly? Well, lopinavir binds to the HIV protease by imitating the protein strand to the, that the protease likes to snip. The drug ends up looking a lot like the amino acids HIV protease wants to snip between tyrosine and phenylalanine and proline, but in this case, no snipping can occur. The binding of the drug to the enzyme is strengthened by an extensive network of things we call hydrogen bonds, pi pi interactions, and van der Waals interactions, and many, many more types of interactions. Hope this helped the American people understand what's going on. I'm going to pass it back to Daria. Thank you for that wonderful analysis, Dr. Fauci. This has been a Fox News breaking news report. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. From my colleague Ryan and I, Good night, America. Our next full report is tonight at 11 p.m. Thank you. This has been a Fox News special report.